What's up guys? Welcome to another video. So it's funny, I love doing these taste tests and I know I haven't, I didn't do them for a while and then all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, there's just seems like there's so many new vegan products coming up. So this particular product has been all over the internet. We have all these vegan pages, like Canadian vegan pages, and everyone's been talking about this bad monkey popcorn. And I'm like, okay, most popcorn is vegan anyways. Like they, it's not like they use real butter all the time. But the reason that it's so amazing is because it's nacho. So it's not, and I just did a popcorn review the other day, um, and that was Nooch Pop, and it was made, it was vegan, obviously, but it was made with Nooch. Um, so I'm going to check the ingredients to see what this is made out of, but this is the Bad Monkey, <laughs> the Bad Monkey popcorn. So it actually comes, I think, in four or five flavors, but I could only get three. So it's, uh, obviously, this one's called uh, Nacho Cheese, and it's from Quebec. So you see the French is first, it says Fromage Nacho. And the next one is salt and salt and butter. Like they're pretty big bags and they were cheap. So here's the other one. And then, I don't know about you Americans because I don't think you have ketchup chips, right? Well, we have ketchup here, chips here. It's not my favorite at all. But of course they have ketchup popcorn. So I got it just to try it, but not sure how that's gonna go down because I'm not a huge fan of ketchup flavor or anything. But anyways, um, these were actually found just in a regular grocery store. So that's one thing that was good. But also, um, it's a massive bag and it's only like two something for this whole bag. So it's actually a really good price. So it's made in Canada. So then there's a big sticker here that says vegan. Which, like I said, you know, most popcorn, I mean, even our movie theater, I don't know about other countries, but our movie theater here in Canada doesn't even use real butter. Uh, well, I think you can ask for real butter and pay for it at the movie theaters, but just the stuff that they you can pump and self-serve your own butter, it's like some kind of oil and stuff, so it's like, I, I don't know, to me, I've, I've even seen popcorn at the dollar store, which is vegan, but it's the nacho cheese that's amazing, so that's the one I want to see how that's made. Okay, so I just checked their website. They also have a flavor called maple syrup, which I would have totally jumped on board with that. Um, but I didn't see it at the store where I was so okay so the other good thing obviously is zero cholesterol because cholesterol only comes from eating animal products um, it is vegan and all these labels are all on here so it's vegan made in Canada nut free um, non GMO zero grams of trans fat non dairy and a high source of fiber which you know what it really makes sense like you know, so many and actually they should have wrote gluten free so the only ingredients so this is just the regular um, the salt one so the ingredients is only popcorn, canola oil, salt, artificial flavor, and beta carotene. So technically it is gluten free. Like here's the thing, for something like a simple product, you know, they should be labeling everything because a lot of things you might assume that something has gluten and it's gluten free. And so you, you wouldn't have known unless you saw the symbol, right? Or the same thing with the vegan, it's like you assume like, you know, all these accidentally um, vegan items like Oreos, you know, they should write vegan on it because so many people are just looking at these labels and not knowing Oreos are vegan, they're accidentally vegan. So anyways, it is kind of weird that nothing is written gluten-free and that's one thing I would tell them to put a little gluten-free sticker on it because um, popcorn is gluten-free. It's just the toppings that might not be, but it doesn't look like anything is, um, except for the artificial flavor, that's kind of the bogey that you never really know what's in there. And for the nacho cheese, it's basically uh, 40 grams is one serving. So how many grams is in here? 300 grams. Oh, so there's actually a lot of servings in here. Mm, that just means the servings are tiny. Um, so it's 160 calories per serving, 4.5 um, grams of fat, 26 grams of carbs, 4 grams of, of protein, 0 grams of cholesterol, 490 milligrams of sodium. So that is a lot. I did a popcorn review the other day. And if you want to click on the eye in your top right hand corner, you can see that you can compare the difference. That one you're allowed to have five cups of the popcorn for a serving and the sodium was like super low. And this one, the sodium is 490. So I guess it's all different things, right? It just depends what you like. And um, anyways, we're going to try it. So maybe I know the nacho one, I don't know. I feel like the nacho one I'm gonna like. So let's start with the one I'm not gonna like. Let's start with ketchup first. <laughs> So if you are American and you're watching this, let me know in the comments below if you guys have ketchup chips, because I feel like I read somewhere that you don't have ketchup chips. It's not a thing down there, I guess. Which technically, sorry, but it shouldn't be a thing up here either, because I don't know what the big hype is. Like, it's just kind of weird. But just like Ruffles, you know, Ruffles chips, we actually have one called All Dressed, which I think is like 
relish and ketchup and mustard and like that kind of flavor. I was like, anyways. Oh, it kind of looks like, um, it doesn't really look red. It's like a dark red, almost like a barbecue kind of color. It's like dark. I mean, the picture is cute. <laughs> a little monkey here. So this particular flavor is 200 calories per serving. So it was the other one that I was reading that was less. So I'm just going to try one that's super flavorful. See if I can show you here. Okay, I'm going to try it. Mmm. Actually, mmm. That's not bad. It's definitely ketchupy, but it's weird. It also reminds me of um, movie theater popcorn. I guess it maybe has the butter first. Maybe that's why there's more calories. It's got the same, um, this one here, the, um, the salt and butter one, and then just ketchup stuff on top. I'm going to try another one. Another two. Hmm. Actually, yeah. It's actually very flavorful. It is a cross between a barbecue, though. I feel it's not super. It does have the tanginess because now I just want to kind of go. So I can definitely feel there is the tanginess, like the, I guess the vinegar from ketchup. But it's actually a lot of flavor. It's not bad. All right. So the ketchup one, I definitely think is not bad. Um, it was a little surprising. The, uh, the plain one now. Okay, this definitely smells like butter. Just looks like a normal, typical popcorn. Nothing fancy, to be honest. So, yeah. I would think this popcorn is good if I didn't already just do a review on the Nooch Pop. If I had to compare the two, I'm, I would pick the Nooch Pop because the Nooch Pop is, the kernels is like normal kernels. They don't have this, um, like this one, almost every single one, has the little um, kernel in it, which means it's gonna be sticking in my teeth. So I feel like maybe it's good in a jam, you know, if you have children or something, because children are not as picky, but maybe I'm a, a, a popcorn connoisseur. <laughs> I do love my popcorn. All right, see how quick that was to <laughs> get rid of that one. I'm just trying to think, so at the movie theater though, I don't find this either, I don't find that there's the, um, I call it the bum of the popcorn because all those round ones. The movie theater, it's been a little while since I went to a movie theater, but you know, the popcorn was fine. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my God, this is so much flavor on it. Look at the color of that. Okay, so this one's made with cheese, uh, nacho cheese, but it's also made with soy. Oh, there's like a little writing, a little uh, blurb I'm gonna read on the back here. Bad Monkey Popcorn is the awesome and delicious creation of our four brothers from Montreal, Quebec, whose mother called them bad monkeys as children. I think every mother calls their children bad monkeys. <laughs> Although not mon bad, because I have a son and I did call him monkey, but I don't call him a bad monkey because he's a good kid. All right, so I'm going to take one that has lots of flavor on it. Mmm. That's pretty good. There's so much flavor on here. Like, look at the color. But you see, it's another one that's the bum of the popcorn. <laughs> and now it's stuck in my throat. Well, as predicted, this is my favorite. <laughs> I would still get this product. Actually, I would buy this or the ketchup. I wouldn't buy the plain one, I don't think. Just because um, I have an air popper at home and I do make popcorn often. Um, but also because I just had the Nooch Pop the other day and that one is like so amazing that those kernels are very good and it didn't stick in my throat. I can already feel things sticking in my throat and my tongue or my teeth right now. It's a cute packaging I have to say and it's a lot cheaper than the Nooch Pop. I think that one was four something per bag and the bag might be slightly smaller than this. But um, oh look at even the bottom there's tons of crumbs at the bottom too. It's basically all dust. Maybe they pack it in too much, but anyways, I don't know. It's kind of a neutral review. You know, I have to say it's not my favorite, um, but it's not horrible. I, I Maybe I would try it again if I was just at the store and I didn't want to get chips, which is most of the time I'd rather have popcorn. I don't know what else to say. There you have it. Another Canadian product. Um, 
This one I was kind of more anticipating greater just because people were talking about it online and it was like, oh no, this place is sold out. Okay, they have it over here. And I'm thinking, what is going on? I have to try this product. And then when I tried, I'm like, mm, what was the big hype? Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up. It does help my channel. And don't forget to subscribe so then you can see more videos like this, whether it's going to be vegan cooking, uh, promoting vegan companies, or just vegan taste tests, anything like that, anything vegan related. So thanks again for watching and until next time, live your life with kindness for all living beings. Take care. Bye.